we just uh, we just finished up. It's about uh, it's about six o'clock here, and uh, Eric said he said probably about 5:40, so he missed it by 20 minutes. But we'll forgive him on this one. Um, I feel pretty good about the shot. All right, well, here's what happened tonight. We got out there, we got the shot, and uh, we took it. We, we felt good about it, and then we got down out of the stand after about 15 minutes, and Eric and I replayed the, the situation in our head, and both of us felt pretty good about it. Got down there, it was a complete pass through with the arrow. Um, had good blood on the blood trail, uh, and, and we followed it. And both of us agreed that, you know what, 30 yards, this thing's gonna be piled up, and we're gonna be able to go and, and get our hog. Um, started following it, and, kept tracking it and kept tracking it and kept tracking it probably tracked it about 250 yards into the thickest briars we've ever seen I mean I'm talking belly crawling through the woods um, but you know finally the, the blood kind of dried up and uh, we lost our trail and after about an hour or so we, we decided to call it and go back over to the stand and uh, take a look at things we had a chance to go back and look at the video and, and again we felt good about it. it was a good shot and then Eric noticed one minor detail that both of us had kind of overlooked and that was um, that hog, as it was quartering away from us, had its front leg back a little bit, which meant the shoulder shield, the shoulder bone, was covering a lot of the vitals. So the shot came back a little bit farther back than we wanted it, and a little bit farther back than it initially looked. And, you know, that one minor detail cost us. Um, you know, we never did, we weren't able to harvest the hog, and that was that one little thing that we didn't notice. And, and, and guys, we were talking about it afterwards, and, uh, you know, the... The thing is, is that the same thing can be with life. If you're going through your life and you have a great marriage and, and you have a great job and you're making a lot of money and you're a good father, if the one thing you're missing is a relationship with Jesus Christ, you're going to do the same thing we did this evening. And that is you're going to search and you're going to search and you're going to track and you're going to look and you're going to follow and you're going to try to find happiness in everything else. But you're never going to reach that true peace. All right, at Iron Man, our, the motto has always been, as iron sharpens iron, so is one man sharpen another. Uh, and, and what we're going to challenge you with tonight is to not look over that one detail in your life uh, that, that may cost you big, that may, that may cost you in the long run. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, the part of the hunt that we got and wish we could have harvested the hog, but at the same time, uh, we did have a great time tonight. Eric and I had an opportunity to talk a little bit and hang out. So uh, from Iron Man Outdoors, I'm McGee Moody.